Hello everybody, my name is Anthony, and welcome to Hearts of Iron for the Great War mod, mod that, you know, takes place during World War One, starting May 1st, 1910. We're going to be playing as Serbia, because Serbia, it's kind of like the country that kicked the entire thing off, so I think it kind of makes sense to play as them. Uh, so the Kaiserreich series is over. Uh, we finished that last, I guess, maybe two days ago, yesterday, I don't know when the video is going to come up. But we finished that. We are going to probably play more Kaiserreich whenever the new patch comes out. I'll probably have like a video or something asking people what country I should play as in that. But anyway, in the meantime, we're going to be playing as Serbia. In uh, I mean, I've seen I've seen the mod. I mean, I've, I've kind of looked into it. It's very very extensive. You know, this is there, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, Germany, you know, like, look look at these focus trees. They're absolutely massive. Uh, there's also been a lot of, uh, you know, the tech trees changed. It actually does go all the way up to, like, 1946, but I don't think there's any events after World War I. So if you have a World War, if you have World War I last until 1943, then it does work. So that's, it's nice that you can actually still, you know, keep going. And, you know, a lot of unit models have changed, like you got the Austrian blue uniforms. I don't know how many countries have changed, I know we definitely don't have the default model for our troops here. And also, Bosnia is actually the worst color I've ever seen. It's just, it's, just, it's a terrible, terrible, like, lime green. But anyway, let's take a look at our country, we have 11 factories, we have 5,000 manpower, ooh. I mean, we already have 80,000, uh, deployed, what do we have? And that's with limited, which is pretty bad. We can probably go up to- we're probably gonna have to go to like all out server at some point, like I wouldn't be too surprised. Uh, so let's see. What researchers should we get? Well, it is 1904 well, it was 1910. So we already have like most of the basic stuff. Uh, we don't need marines or anything. Gas mask. 972 days. Like how long are these ones gonna take? 8,000 days, 32 years to research that. So you wouldn't- you get it like th three months early. If, if you started this now, it'd be done in like 1942. See so yeah, that- that's a little bit- that's- that's too long. We have armored car one, support battalions. We have horse-drawn carriages, that's- that's always good. Oh, we can also just research the radio. Fair enough. Uh, well we might as well get field hospitals, I think that might be important. Uh, also we could probably go for like some industry stuff. 1% bonus. Well, I mean, we might as well, 93 days, oil production, I don't know if we're going to need oil yet, I mean, it's, I don't know what else we really need it for. Construction speed plus 3%, that seems useful, there's a lot of, st there's so much stuff in this mod, okay. Pretty similar factories, well, what is this, trench? I mean, it kind of makes sense, uh, but we're going to basically just build a military factory. Uh, okay, so we have support equipment, rifles, is there anything else we can make? Field artillery definitely seems like that would be useful. Uh, okay. Aircraft, scouts, we can build some zeppelins. But actually, let's take a look at our... Like, you know, I want to go back, I want to go back to that. Yeah, so this is two, this is four. So let's just delete the two because it's kind of trash. So what do we got? We have an engineer company here. Support artillery. So does that need the uh, the field gun? Yes. Yeah, so we might like make a little bit of that. Uh, make some rifles. We have five? That's, that's not a lot. How many civilian factories do we have? We have six civilian. Yeah, we're not really a big country, are we? I mean, well, we're two states. It's not. It's not a lot. We have like no manpower, so we kind of just ignore this for now. So diplomatic effort, political effort, student movement, limited freedom, Balkan politics. I see, I don't know what exactly here is. I think this is like specific to, uh, like you don't have it, right? No, you do. But it's slightly different, which kind of makes sense. Yeah, I think this is more the default tech tree. So yeah, we've we've a little we've a slightly changed one, but we're definitely going to want to you know focus in the Baltics because right now we have what claims we have cores here here. Uh, that's Montenegro. So we actually don't have cores here. We have cores on. I thought we had cores on Bosnia, but apparently we don't. We have two cores at least down here. 
I don't know where else. Oh, we have one here as well. So that's nice. I mean, at some point, a lot of the uh, early wars are event-based. We'll just throw you guys into one big army. So let's see, who do we got? Uh, reconnaissance, out of supply, reconnaissance, max entrenchment. Attack plus 20%? Yeah, he seems pretty good. Just throw everybody on the Ottoman border, because I don't think we're going to be going to war with the Austrians anytime soon. Welcome to the Great War, You're a are you a veteran? Oh, so these ones are just how difficult. No, I think we're just going to go with the uh, the default speed here. Oh, do we not have enough supply to actually deal with this? The death of Edward VII. Edward VII, uh, like who? Oh, no, that is in the United Kingdom. He's in charge now. Okay, George V. That's fine by me. But we don't have enough supply here, do we? No, what, what's your problem? Why are you taking attrition? Oh, because just because you're in a mountain? Get over it. It's not that big of a deal. A lot of these guys are actually green, so we're just going to have you guys actually, uh... I don't really do it very often. But we'll just have you guys exercise, because really I don't know what else to have you do. Because just all of you are green. Except for one guy down here, he's alright. We can't just find war goals, because we're technically a democracy. Even though we have a, a king here. Communist, authoritarian, we're democratic. Yeah, so, you know, let's take a, you know, let's take a quick look around the world. You know, we have the Russian Empire. Do you actually like us? No, they don't. Okay. But, you know, Europe, uh, the colonies down here. You see, you got some German all over the place. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Qing Empire exists. They're, they're pretty big. Ruled by, like, a five-year-old. Uh, other than that, the United States holds the Philippines, Bosnia. Look, look, just look at Bosnia. Awful. South America. I mean, the New World is basically just the New World. That doesn't really ever change at all. But yeah, the Ottoman Empire, they're quite a... They, uh, they're doing Balk Balkan politics as well. Appeasement in the Balkans. Anti-Serbian policy. I prefer they don't do the anti-Serbian policy, honestly. Like, I feel like that would be kind of bad for us. Okay, you guys are basically all good now. So let's just stop that. I don't want to lo lose equipment. Tungsten, oh, wood and coal. We got some new uh, resources here. Well, we need steel. I still think steel is definitely more important than that. Why can't we import from the United States? But no possible trade route can be found. Okay, so we can't, we just can't. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. We are a landlocked nation. I kind of forgot about that. The Albanian revolts. The Albanians refused to submit to the Turks. A new Albanian uprising began in Kosovo in the northern mount. Ottoman government has declared martial law. That's fine. Kosovo is like here, part of southern Serbia, but we really can't do anything about that. Yeah, so we can't really do, we can't really justify claims, like you're a satellite of, yeah, so they're part of the, uh, the, uh, Austria. Yeah, so we already got the central powers in the Entente. I feel like Italy should be in the Entente, or Italy should be in the Central Powers. Because, it, you know, in 1910, I'm pretty sure they were. Or at least before World War I. I don't know exactly when they would have joined the Central Powers. But they were in the Central Powers before World War I actually began, and then they just kind of backed out of it. Is there a French position? Is there any other factions, or is there just those two? I mean, if you just look at the map... It doesn't look like the Central Powers really have a chance in hell of actually winning the war, but we'll see. I mean, we're going to be joining the Entente at some point just due to the fact that we are Serbia. It's basically inevitable. We'll just kind of go up to speed 5. Just waiting for things to get done. We have no manpower. Did I lose all my manpower trying to train up these troops? I think so. I think I did. Well, we need more rifles than anything. We don't have enough wood to make these field artillery. South Africa independence, South Africa came into being on the 31st of May, 1910. With the unification of the previous separate colonies of Cape Natal, Transvaal, and the Orange Free State, the Union of South Africa. That's fine. So there it is down here. Are they a satellite state? They are. Ruled by this man. I mean, that's fine. I mean, it kind of makes the United Kingdom, like, just kind of landlocked, but... I'm sure that's fine. What's going on down here? There's a border conflict in this state. Okay, then. Not really too sure why. 
Yeah, so your puppet. Do the elements have any other puppets or just a head jazz? Just head jazz at the moment. Also, it kind of sucks that the uh, Nege down here is the exact same color as the Ottomans. Because they're so close to bordering each other. If they just ha had a border, then you wouldn't even be able to tell them apart. Yeah, we don't have enough resources. I know we don't. I mean, if, can we build trenches? Like, we probably should at some point. Coastal forts, that doesn't matter. We need defensive bunker for that. Well, at some point, we're pr probably going to want to build some trenches. Oh, uh, this is now a border conflict as well over here in Albania. I don't know what exactly that does. What the, what does that do? I don't know. It might just make cause attrition for them, but I can't really tell. Also, our first objective would basically just be to be take uh, take Serbia. If there's ever a war with the uh, the Ottomans, which there will be. I don't know when. I think like 1911. 1912? I'm not too sure when exactly. But I think actually I kind of force it down this way. Oh, I was looking at the Ottomans. I was wondering why there was anti-Serbian in my own tech tree. So let's see. Baltic politics. Political power plus 100. Assert position in Europe. Anti-Austria. I mean, like, doing a lot of these things would be nice. Support Croatia revolt. Form Yugoslavia. Treaty for Seisman, so okay, well that hasn't been signed at all. Baltic politics. Balkan. Appeasement. Yeah, so when Italy declare Italy's gonna declare war at Turkey, I don't know when. Apparently sometime next year. Um Yeah, they're gonna declare war. And then we just ooh, twenty thousand manpower for free. Liberate the Balkans, alliance with Greece, punish Bulgaria. Well, we kind of have to do it, so let's get that going. Now we can modify our government as well. Opinion, construction speed, trade deals. Hmm, I don't know if any of these really will help us right now. I think just, can we go up to... No, there's not, there's no world tension right now. Defense division, defense organization. Organization, that's a it's a four percent bonus. It's not really that much, is it? Infantry attack is always great. Well, let's get this man. Just you know, having more attack and more defense is always good. Anti Don't do the anti-Serbian policy. It just makes them hate us. anti bulgarian pol policy. Japan, Korean annexation treaty. The Korean Empire of Japanese private states since the assassination of Queen Min in 1895 has just signed a treaty with the Japanese government that resulted in full annexation. Through the Russian Empire and the United States are complaining about this measure. No official actions have been taken against Japan yet. It seems that Korea's long legacy will go well with nothing more than a whimper. Well, that's fine. Poor, poor Korea. Never forget. Okay, well... I don't know if Japan's really going to do anything. I think they will join the Entente at some point. I mean, they're not in a faction. They're authoritarian right now. Are you guys all... Okay, you're all democracies. What's Spain? Your democracy... Well, we're going to join... We're going to form a faction soon. Whenever... This happens. Uh, Bulgaria, Greece, Montenegro will just join a faction with us. And then we can just kind of declare war on the Ottomans. I don't know exactly how it works out because I think the peace deal is also through event. So I don't know if I can basically just keep forcing the war. Apply consumption. 140 days for minus 1%. It's really not a lot, is it? But I think we just kind of need to industrialize. We are a very undeveloped nation. 21 brigades. Uh, the Ottomans probably both like had three times more troops than we do. Which is pretty bad. We only make steel and wood. 
the Ottomans make some of everything. What's actually in these states that we would take? Uh, resources. Oh, there's absolutely no resources in any of these states. I mean, having Albania would be nice. Can I just take Albania? There is the one in here, like, question... Albanians, uh... I don't that's still... That's not my country. Peasement in the Balkans. So this is just annexing... Montenegro. I don't know what the hell this one will do. But this one only seems like we get to annex Montenegro. Like, what? That doesn't help us at all, does it? That's yeah, terrible. Just going for this one just seems objectively better. So I don't know why you'd ever want to go this way. Go fast or communist over here. Full rearmament. Yeah, so this is basically when World War II happens. Or World War One, I, I should say. I don't know. I mean, they're both in an alliance. I don't understand why it really makes a difference. Oh, we can actually only do all of this stuff, too, if we go with the anti. So, like, if we go went this way, all of this is also locked out. So, that's not good. That's a lot of stuff that's just kind of gone. Like, this whole thing is just kind of worthless. Develop the country. Man, purpose 8,000. Three t trenches. Recognized by minorities. Air Force. I mean, industrial effort also is nice. Naval effort's completely, you know, worthless because we are a landlocked nation. Yeah, but I think once we go anti ottoman we're going to go anti, like, just kind of focus over here. And what's on this side? Like, student movements, research times, liberty ethos. And it doesn't, like, this one doesn't seem like it's too important. Uh, like, the techs, I just always kind of ignore them. I know I probably shouldn't ignore the, uh, technology focuses, but I just kind of always do. They just never seem exciting. Not really ever worth going after. Yeah, I know I have low manpower. I can't really do anything about that, though, can I? Okay, so let us go anti-Ottoman. Modify our government. Oh, who's the other guy? Like, I wanted the, uh... I mean, it's, it's 4%. Is 4% really worth it? Why do I have so many artillery attack guys? Seems weird to me. Army experience. Like, this stuff doesn't really matter. So we kind of ignore that. Two, also, two in industry ones. I don't know why. But we'll take one of them. I mean, we are going to do a lot of uh, researches into the uh, industry tech tree, so it makes sense. I want to do it that way. Neutrality focus. Anti. See, look. They want to do anti ottomans Greece, are you going to do anti ottoman as well? No, they don't even have a... Uh... They can't do anything. Thanks for nothing. I mean, they'll join us, but they don't have a tech tree. Or a focus tree to help us out. Do you have anything? No. Does Belgium have anything? Do you have a unique one? Nah. The Netherlands? No. A lot of people actually don't really have anything yet. That's fine. Now they're doing anti-Bulgarian. Portugal becomes a republic, mirroring their former colony Brazil. The Republic Republicans of Portugal have cooed the monarchy. A string of blunders by the monarchy, mostly concerning the colonies and technological development, provoked a very small band of rebels to come together, which quickly earned the support of near, but nearly the entire military. Th though the issues the monarchy faced were unlikely to be easily solved anytime soon, at least the anger of the public is quenched for now. That's good, I guess. This man looks very, very sad. That's fine. Also, Tunis is. Why does, why does Tunis exist? Just, I know they're a puppet, but like, why do they exist? Morocco's also a puppet. Maybe maybe they're just autonomous or something like that. I'm not too sure. So it's ninth. It's still nineteen ten. Italy. When do you secret deal with France? 
Where is your... Like, do you... Is it by event that you attack... No, okay, I think it's here where, um... Odd Man Pride exists before 1913. Yeah, so when they do Libyan claims, they just declare war, I think, immediately on... Well, they, well, they get a CB. So we have to wait until at least the 8th of August for anything to happen. With Italy. That's fine. That gives us time to repair. You know, tech up. Build our one factory and then be kind of stuck doing nothing. Actually, weren't you supposed to give like 10%? Was it something just to give like 10% more uh, factories? Was it in here? There was something that was like 10% more factories, but now I don't... Now I can't find it, so I don't really know. But I do think that I'm going to end this episode here, so thanks for watching. My name is Anson. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now, if you like to thumbs down, if you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.